a Day of the Dead celebration. Today is the Day of the Dead. It is a happy day when we celebrate our family. There is a lot to do to get ready. We go to the market to pick the brightest marigolds and some sugar skulls. Everyone is coming to our house, the living and the dead. Grandma told us that it is the time when the spirits of the departed come back to visit. We decorate sugar skulls for all our relatives we miss. Mom is teaching us to cook Aunt Lucha's favorite dish, sweet tamales. Tia Lucha keeps bees and eats five tamales with honey every morning. She is the sweetest person I know. My sister, Paz, is practicing the accordion. It belonged to our great-grandfather, Tia Rino. He used to play all over the country. What was his favorite song? Let's ask your grandmother, Abulita, will know. Abulita's husband, Grandpa Ramon, liked to travel too and spoke eight languages. He visited every continent in search of rare objects and stories. He kept track of his adventures in his journal. Just like me, I love writing in my journal. For dessert, Dad is teaching us how to make our family's famous soft almond cookies. I'm not sure who, which relative invented this recipe. We'll have to ask Abuelita, and I will write it down so we don't forget. Your uncle, Valerino's spirit, will travel back fast when he smells the cookies. Now our food, flowers, and sugar skulls are ready for the altar. Paz writes a poem for great-grandfather Tenerito to add to the altar. Now that you are away, your accordion asked me to play the most beautiful song to keep your memory strong. And I write one for Grandpa Ramon. We miss you and your sneeze. Did it really almost blow down some trees? Everything is ready, but we need the guests. Waiting is hard. So I write one more poem for my great grandmother Dahlia, who was an artist. Your favorite color was green, the best color ever seen. You love the spring and the birds that sing. And then, hooray, they are here. Claudia is an artist and draws pictures on the patio of all the places Grandpa Ramon told us about. We are all getting hungry, but must wait for our most important guest. Finally, the one who knows all the family stories arrives, Abuelita. My family loves to be together. We sing and dance to celebrate our family. We feel close to everyone, the living and the dead. At dinner, Abuelita tells stories and we could listen forever, a long time ago, before you were born. When the party is over, we are sad to say goodbye. Why does our family live so far away and so far apart? Maybe they are like the monarch butterflies. They travel far, but always come back. But we are all happy and we had a day to remember, just like we have loved ones who we will never, ever forget. Since ancient times, humans have sought ways to celebrate the lives of their family members who have died. In Mexico, some people celebrate their departed loved ones by making altars. They can be decorated with sugar skulls, marigold flowers, beloved food, and pan de montro which is a traditional bread made for the season. Sharing stories and writing poems called calaveras, which translates as skulls, about the dead also help keep their memories alive. In this book, you will find a story inspired by my family, 
who loves to remember the sweet times we had with those who are no longer with us. It is important to remember because when we remember, we live again, and they live again through us. Anna.